Okay, there we go. So, um, as I was doing the, uh, the, the roundup, I suppose, uh, after I got the Coral Saber, I came across, um, a few islands that I didn't go over in the video, and I found a few things. Nothing too interesting, just bloodstones and whatnot. But I came back to Southwind Isle, and, uh, I forgot about this little part. You have to jump the gap, which we couldn't do before, because you didn't have the, the trench boots. The audio's a little bit low here, because I, I was doing something else. Uh, let me just turn this up real quick. There we go. So this is uh, the other part of Southwood Island that we couldn't access before. Uh, but now that we have the trencher boots, we can. So this is a completely new area for us. New bloodstone, more bloodstones. Wow. What? Wow. Wow. What? Wow. <laughs> I just really, I don't know why, I just, I, I kind of, I sometimes I do that, like, sub subconsciously, I make those noises, that's, um, Shy Guy, if anyone did get that, oh god, oh god, don't drown, please, um, I wonder, can I drop a bomb here, there you go, just take that real quick, oh, nice, porf, and drop one right there, po oh, not perfect, wait, what? What do you mean? There's stairs right here. Let me blow up something. Why would you let me blow this up and I just still can't progress? Oh, duh, duh. I feel like an idiot. Okay, what's over here? Reveal to me your secrets, game. Reveal to me your secrets. Oh, gotta go to the fairy fountain. All right, well, let's drop a bomb right here. <laughs> just drop as many bombs as we can. Okay. I'm wasting bombs now. Oh, look, there's a treasure chest. Okay, cool. So it was really worth coming back here. So, uh, there, yeah, so like I said, a few areas I went back to that I could find stuff, but not every area. Whoa, a fine explorer crystal. It gives you 100 EXP. Whoa, that's good. That's pretty good. Um, back on, I guess while I'm, while I'm talking about it, back on Tikarel Island, um, there is when I was fishing, I realized I noticed that there is this um, thing in the in the water, this little uh, target stand. Um, like when we got to Guildfolk's Drop, and you uh, you had to hit the target to proceed, and something like that. So, but if you hit this one, it uh, makes a uh, chest appear on the small island, which I have to do a little puzzle to get to. But it gives you a polished um, crystal. Explorer's Crystal, which gives you 250 XP. And then there's one here that gives you the one, uh, 100 XP. So that's pretty good. Uh, although that seems to be everything that you can do on the island, so... Um, that's pretty much it. So that's good. You got that cleared and ready to go. Cool. I'll meet you back at the adventure. And just real quick, there's a little part of this uh, path that I missed. So back over here, I just continued out over here to the chest, but uh, this little path actually went into a cave filled with uh, bats, keys, filled with keys. I would recommend when you're doing the uh, the ocean horn roundup that you definitely go grab it. Where'd the other one go? Get back here, you nut. Uh, definitely grab the uh, the coral saber first. It makes life so much easier. Because everything is so... It takes so many hits to kill in this game. And uh, the, the Coral Saber just really makes up for that. It's so hard hitting. It's fantastic. There we go. This is what I was trying to get to. I couldn't figure out how to get to this chest right here. And it's a heart piece. So I'm really glad I caught that then. Alright, cool. Oh gosh. So I can take out those things in one hit. Awesome. Anyway, see you guys. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Inti, and welcome back to another episode of Ocean Horn. Last episode, uh, we got the Coral Saber, went through Riptide Reef, and uh, my game glitched, and I lost all of my data. Well, actually, not really. My game glitched, and it wouldn't let me finish the game. So I ended up having to uh, restart the game from the very beginning. God, it's so loud. I had to end up restarting the game from the very beginning. 
and playing all the way back to where I was, which I did. A few things are different. I'm level 10 Voyager. Um, all my items and everything are the same. Um, I think for level 10, rolls cost less stamina now, and jumping all cost less stamina. That's pretty much the only difference. Um, other than that, yeah, everything's the same. I would have been like a little bit higher level, but um, I I tried doing the the getting the coral saber early. It didn't it didn't work. Also, you can lose because every time you die, you lose uh, XP, and you can actually lose enough XP to um, level down, which I learned. So don't do that. Anyway, so hopefully the game won't glitch this time, and we can actually make it to Sky Island. Um, so let's see. We already talked to this. I don't remember what he said. What do you, what do you need? A stool? Um, so, a thing, um, it's not really a secret. So, right now, we're, we're trying to complete the, the Hermit's quests so we can uh, go to Sky Island. Um, disclaimer, which I found out while I was replaying this game. If you go, when you go to Sky Island, travel bed. When you go to Sky Island, you cannot return to Sky Island until you have beaten the boss and completed the whole. Also, you can roll, dodge roll into barrels and uh, boxes and stuff to, to destroy them. Fun fact. Once you go to Sky Island, you cannot return back onto uh, the normal land, water, whatever, until you beat the boss there. So, keep that in mind. That, um, the, the Ocean Horn Roundup. After you get the trencher boots and you go around and get all the items you can find with the trencher boots. Um, I was just doing that because uh, that's what I usually do in video games when you get a new item. Like uh, Metroid games and whatnot. Um, but if you're not one of those people that like to do that, then make sure that you actually you know, attempt to do that because you cannot come back here into this, the, you can't go anywhere else. Other than Sky Island, once you're in Sky Island, once you're at Sky Island, um, until you beat the boss. Which also means so that that'd be fine, I guess, because you're really just missing out some XP and stuff. But that means that you can't. Okay, so this is the, this is the part we got stuck at last. He was saying uh, we need the the kaku. The metal kaku, and I was like, what? Where do we even get one of those? Um, so here's the thing. So you can miss out on the Coral Saber. If you don't get the Coral Saber before you go to Sky Island, then that's it. Um, you just you just don't get the Coral Saber until you come back. Uh, which, you know, it's fine. You can beat the boss without the Coral Saber, but it's going to be very difficult. So, so I've heard. Obviously, I haven't done that myself. But, um, so I've heard it's very difficult to... Where, where would it be? I still don't know. It's very difficult to, to fight the boss with the normal sword. So he wants a metal cuckoo. 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 Which is just, like, a weather vane. But, like, what? There is no weather vane here. Oh, can I roll into enemies? You can roll through them, though. That's good. So I'm probably going to be dodge rolling a lot more, because I, I can. <laughs> There's no primary reason. Um, yeah, I uh, I don't know where to go to find that metal kaku. In here? No, I wouldn't be able to get out with it. Yeah, I don't know where this thing is that he's asking for. Let's see. What? What does he want? It's a weather vane, right? I'm not crazy. He's asking for a weather vane. 
I would assume there'd be one on the house, because that makes the most sense. Or there'd be one... I don't know. On a house! That's generally where they're kept. Like, where else would you keep one not on a house? I don't have any. Oh, wait. That's why. Okay, well. Gosh dang it. Freaking things. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Also, I uh, spent a thousand gold again to get the heart. Um, so right now I'm working up to 500 gold to try to get the, um, the other thing, you know. What's it called? It's all this over here. Uh, I'm working up to get the, the ancient radar or whatever. I don't know what that does. But, yeah, I don't know what it does. But, um, I don't know. It's the only thing to buy that's, like, not a refill. So, I'm going to go for that. Over here, nothing. There's a box down there. And generally that's used for, like, shortcuts. Or something. Mm. Okay, well, I guess I'll be right back until I figure out what he's asking for. Okay, and we're back. So, can I pick that up? Oh, I can just pick it up. Okay, that's dumb. So I, I was thinking, like, okay, where other? It's, it's he's obviously talking about a weather vane. So like, where else would it be other than like on a house? And it wasn't, and the one house that was on Herman Island. So the only other place there'd be houses is Tickerel. So I went back to Tickerel, and yeah, it's right there. So, it's like the house beneath the, um, beneath the shop. Has the, um, the weather vane. You can just pick it up and carry it to your ship. So, I guess with that, I'll meet you back at the island. <laughs> just on the boat with it on my head. Or in my hands. It's really funny. Okay, here you go, old man. Here's your stupid bird. Gosh dang it. I wonder if I went back to my other file. Because the, the cutscene from before played again. But this time I would play in the middle of the sea rather than at Hermit Island. So I wonder... So something like that was supposed to happen. So I wonder if in my other file, if I went back and brought the, the weather vane to him, if, if he would talk to me again. Drag your boat over here. What? Okay. What are you going to do to it? Oh. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about, boy. <laughs> A stool for me to sit. <laughs> yes. No, what was this tool for? Why do you build that little thingy? What was the point of all that? How do you build that? Anyway, it doesn't matter. We airship now, boys! God, it's like my favorite part in any- or one of my favorite parts like any RPG. Even though this isn't one. But like in JRPGs, when you finally- Because you, you know, in usual RPGs, JRPGs, you get a ship so you can explore the sea and that's when the world really opens up for you. But one of my favorite parts is when you get an airship, where your boat turns into an airship. Oh, that's the best. Like in Bravely Default, you get an airship early on, but then it breaks. Just like this. Well, is my boat still intact? Oh god, no, it's all broken. 
When I was a lad, I met a girl who said she had fallen from the sky. Mary. I always called her the princess of the sky. I said she had lost a mother. Whenever she looked at that island in the sky, I could see a longing in her eyes. So our mother is from the sky. So we're half sky, skyian, and half Arcadian. Also, this is it, dude. Guys, boys, we made it. We made it to, to Sky Island. Skyland, if you will. Uh, let, me, let me drop a bomb real quick. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. We made it to Sky Island. And it only took forever. Oh, this music. Literally only took me restarting my entire game to get here. It's not that bad at all. Freaking, freaking, freaking. What is the puzzle here? Okay, there's some stuff going on and I'm not really sure how to deal with this. So, I'm going to end the episode off here. Um, this entire episode is pretty much just comprised of me. Uh... <laughs> Uh, trying to figure out how the freaking, what the, where to get the weather vane. So I hope you enjoyed this weather vane episode. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.